Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here. And then we are into the next day's session or the final day session of this inventory implementation actually. So let me go there and then share this with you. So let me go to uh, the tools and then I go to the security console. I have logged in at the PRC 11 dot student. I go there, click on it. <clears throat> I go to the tools <clears throat> and then I go to the security console. I go to the security console. There I will now query for this now. Fine. I have added one more role to the PRC actually. You go there, you go to the users and click on the users. And then I have added on the PRC 11, if you go on and see, I have added one more role. Now. So the PRC 11 by default will be having PRC all role for purchase orders. And then since I'm going to do inventory also, the OU SCM role is also added. So that this guy can do all the activities of inventory and then procure. So all the things on the visions, visions roles, you can very well do. Fine. This has been added. So click on the one. And then no need to give any data access for the vision or gadget of 001 or 002, whatever it is, it is not. And I have created all the three items, K0101 and then 02 and 03. Everything is now created. And then uh, the items are now assigned to the 001 or. Let us now go on and create our purchase order statement. So click on it. I will now go to the PO overview and then I'm going to get the purchase order. <coughs> I will not make the purchase order. <clears throat> so click on it. Let me create a purchase order first and click on create order. Go there. So I will now put the ABC consulting over here now. So go there. ABC consulting is open. And click on create. I'm going to create it. I'm now working on PRC 11.student. <clears throat> so let me create a P1. We are in the flow of creating a P1. Go down now. So go there. Click on this one. I will go to the lines area. Find the schedule. You will not have plus. In the lines only, you will have a plus. In the lines, I will not click on plus one. I will not go to the plus. Number one. Go there. I will not put my item over here. Is that K0101? Automatically, the item will be coming. I will not go there. I will not go to put the quantity. The quantity is 100. 100 quantity. I know the base price has to default. It is not defaulting. Fine, go that point. And then I go to the schedules and click on the schedules. In the schedules, I am now going to make it as what? Direct delivery. Select it and then click on edit. I am going to make it a direct delivery. <coughs> so this will be a direct delivery. Go that. So go that. Click on it. I will now make a change to direct. So the result routing is going to be direct. First. And click on OK. And then let me submit it. So US 164501 will be submitted for approval. And then I have already set it to automatic action. I click on submit. And so this will be getting submitted. So 164501 will be submitted for approval. And then this is automatic action. One minute. They are not given the dates section. And there's a must. I click on it. We have forgotten to give the dates. So let us now go there and then give the dates. In this place, what happens? We have to give the dates. So give the requested delivery. One of the date is a mandatory one. So, <coughs> so choose the date. Now you submit properly. You're submitting it properly. So by which what happens? It will be getting submitted. So 164501, <clears throat> US 164501 is a PO that is now getting submitted properly. So it will not take some time. In the meantime, what happens? I will now open one more tab again. I will now go to what the inventory <clears throat> and then query for this PO. I will now go to the inventory overview. <clears throat> it is a direct delivery number. In the meantime, what happens? I will now right click on the duplicate. I will now have one more tab written here. One more tab written is now coming up. Now, click on it. now go there. In the previous one, I go there. I drop it down to receipts and then here, receive expected shipments. I will now go on and query my purchase order. And US 164501 is one. So, once when you give it a tab, it is not coming. Fine. US 164501. So, I have to wait for the PO to get approved now. So it is approved, fine. Select it and then click on it. So once when it is approved, it will be coming. And then by default, we are in 001 or 1. And click on search now. You make a search, it will be available. You select it and then click on receive. We are going to receive it. It is a direct delivery. And so it will be delivered, receive and deliver put together. 
if you click on the show zip quantity it will now say how much is expected from supplier 100 is expected i will now go there i will now populate the subunit only i click on it i'm not going to populate the subunit so under this tools i'm going to store it so click on create zip by which what happens it will be delivered to the inventory also it will be received in the gate as well as it will be delivered to the inventory and click on submit now fine by which what happens the grn number gets created so if i do 154 the grn number and that's not it is not done now let us now go to the next tab region and then have a look at the stock so I click on it I will not go to the space. I will not go to the inventory overview. And then I am going to have a look at the stock. <coughs> so let's go there. Click on it. You will not go to this place. Click on it. <coughs> we will not have a look at the stock. You will not go to the item quantity. So fine with that. I will not change it to inventory. And then the inventory, I will not go and then have a look at the item quantity. <coughs> I will not have a look at the item quantity. It is K0101 is the item. K0101 then get a, the item will be coming up. And then click on search by searching it. What happens? You can now see that item is now having a stock of 100. So that's it. And then if you expand it, it will now show that the item is available in the stores. <coughs> so if you expand the organization, it will now show you that item is available in the stores. Now, let us now make the next one as a standard delivery. Go there, go to the purchase orders. And that. So let us now go to the manage orders and then let us now query it. Go to the manage orders. Let me query this part. <coughs> go there. So the purchase order number is what? It is US 164.5011. And, and then is okay. He is the only buyer. It doesn't matter. And click on search email. Because this guy is the only made it. Select it. And then I'm going to duplicate the purchase order. And go to actions and then go to duplicate. This is called a repeat order. So we are now repeating the order actually. Actions duplicate will be repeating the order actually. And then here I am going to make one change now. I will now go to the schedules and then I will now make it as what? Standard now. I go to the schedules and then click on the edit button. In the schedules I am going to make a change. Only one change I am going to make it now. I will now instead of direct, I am going to make it as a standard. So make it a standard. <clears throat> it is now a standard result loading. Are you all hearing me? Can somebody say yes to me? I have not even asked any confirmation. Yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Sir, one day, I actually joined five minutes late. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, we faced that attribute issue, right? Is uh, it, yeah, uh... that instance itself is gone now. Etaj is gone now. And I'm now working on UTH actually. <laughs> so, do you know the reason for it? No, sir, we couldn't find that. Ah, so, I yeah, just yeah. want to... We couldn't find it all. The instance itself is gone now. Because somebody has fiddled around on the dates and something. And now it is gone. Fine. We don't know about how to what happens to activate also. Fine. If anybody knows it, please inform us. Okay. The instance is gone. So we don't have any possibility of understanding it. So it is a standard. So, yeah, tell me. Yeah. What is the difference between standard and the uh, direct? In a direct, what happens? We are able to see the stock immediately. Fine. So once when you receive it. Now here, once when you make a result on the gate, you cannot see the stock at all. So you know, maybe the standard now. So click on OK and then I'm going to submit it. <clears throat> So go there, click on submit. So 164502 is now submitted properly. Now, once when you make a gate zip, the stock will not be updated. In the code of the receive expected shipments, so go there. I will now query for 164502. I'm going to query it. 164502. So click on search. <clears throat> so once when it is approved, you will be able to see the PO coming up over here. It has been submitted for approval. And then I have already set it up to automatic. And so what happens, you won't be finding any problem at all. It will be coming up over here. It is now coming fine. Select it and then click on OK. Now, the supplier has now supplied only 90 quantities again, 100. Select. And then we are going to receive only 90. Click on receive. I will not select it. And then click on the show receive quantity. It will not show how much is expected from the supplier. But the supplier has now supplied only 90. The delivery channel of the supplier is now saying only 90. So I'm going to put 90 and then click on create result. So click on create result. I'm going to make a result and click on submit. So once when you submit it, what happens? Sir? The GRN number is now created. 52155 is the GRN number. 52155 is the GRN number and click on OK. This is called the goods receipt note number, which has been made in the game. If you go to the manage item quantities and make a search now and click on search and expand it. And then here, what I will do is I will now expand it. I will now query for the item now. Fine. With on and and then how much is there in the receiving and then how much is inbound actually. 
So in the receiving, we have got 90 quantities and then we are expecting 10 from the supplier actually. Click on search now, it will not show everything. Click on it, it will not show. The, the receiving section is now having 90 and then we are expecting 10 more from supplier actually. They are all called inbound. And then the actual stock is 100, which has been made in the previous period. Now, I am going to deliver it out of 90. What happens? I found that 15 are defective actually. 15 quantities are defective. And then what happens? I am going to deliver only 75 to the one and inventory. So let us go there, click on it. We will not do a put away now. Click on that. So we are now received it. We are now going to perform a put away now. So click on it. We'll not go there. So we will now go to put away. In the receipts, I will not perform a put away. So put away will now put it away into the inventory. Whereas in a direct, it goes into the inventory directly. And go there. I will now paste this receipt number, the GRL number, give it a tap, and then click on search. So out of 90 available in the receiving area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a put away of only about 75 now. So click on put away. How much you want to put away? And this is a put away actually. So go there. So quantity is not 90, but 15 is defective. I'm going to put away what? 75. Only. So since I'm putting away, the sub inventory is a mandatory one. When I drop it down, I will not choose the sub inventory. I'm going to say stores. I'm going to and click on submit. By which what happens? The put away transaction gets created. <clears throat> It is now submitted now. <coughs> so go there, click on it. The transaction is now created. The put away transaction is created. Now we go there, click on this place, and then if you make a query, now you can see the stock would have gone to 175, and then 15 are lying in the receiving, and then 10 is inbound now. Right? 10 is expected to drop there. If you go there, click on it. I will now make a search now. Click on search. <coughs> go there, click on it. 175 is the stock, 15 is remaining in the receiving, and then 10 is expected to supply. Any doubts on this now? Anybody? Good. So there are no doubts. So now what I was, I'm going to perform a correction actually. So now if I make a correction of two quantities, let us say uh, nobody has touched any consignment at all. Fine. There's no come 90 as yet. And then it is not coming in a box of 15 or something like that. And then one box has been kept. The remaining box has been delivered actually. Five boxes have been, one box has been kept over here now. Fine. That. So now if I say that two items are missing, now tell me whether the receiving section is responsible for the missing two or the supplier is responsible for the missing two. Anybody? Who is responsible for the missing two? In the 175, what happens? The two are missing now. Who is responsible for it? Nobody has touched the consignment at all. We are not even open the box. Fine. And then while the inventory man is now populating it on the shelf, at the time he found two is missing. Now tell me who is responsible? The receiving section is responsible or supplier is responsible now? Anybody? Or your supplier, supplier is responsible. Supplier is responsible. Very good. Fine. Anybody else? So somebody told me, who is it? Who told me supplier? Chandra. Chandra, fine. Okay, fine. <clears throat> uh, Chandra, I gave, uh, I am now saying that what happens, I am now giving you 1,000 rupees. Fine. And you are not counted it. And then you are now giving it to Azim. You are now, you have, all the three are standing near to each other. So Chandra, I have given 1,000 rupees to uh, Chandra. 1,000 uh, uh, rather uh, currencies, fine, because they are beautiful. So I will now say $1,000. So $1,000 has been given to Chandra uh, with a $100 bill actually. And then Chandra has not counted and then he has given it to Azim. <clears throat> Azim is counting it. When he, he found that there is only nine notes of them, right? there's only nine. Now tell me, the missing 100, Chandra is responsible or I am responsible? Who is responsible for the missing 100? Chandra is responsible because Chandra while is receiving it. <laughs> because Chandra has touched it, he has not even counted it. That is his mistake, actually. See, while receiving itself, we are doing 90 country, right? Yeah. Whatever we receive, what, what happens? The moment we receive it, the receiving section becomes entirely responsible for it. Once when they have touched it, they are responsible. So if anything is missing, the receiving section is only responsible and not supply is responsible. Got it now? No, let us not make a correction of two. Let us not perform a correction. I will not perform a correction. So go to this place and click on it. I am not going to correct it. So go to the correct receipts and click on correct receipts. So here I am not going to correct it. Click on correct. So the receipt number is this. Not on this, what happens? I am going to perform a correction. Click on search. I am going to search for. So this one just coming now. So correction is coming. So here what happens? It is delivered actually. On the delivered, we have 75 on this PO. Fine. Select it and then click on correct. So now when you count it, it is not 75, it is 73. The corrected quantity is 73. Two is missing. So now the receiving section becomes responsible for the missing two. It is not supplier who is responsible because they have touched it. The correction transaction was created. Thank you. Now go there, click on it. Now make it search. So click on search. Now you can see in the missing two is now supposed to be lying on the receiving section only. 
they're, they're missing to what happens it is not supposed to lie on this one fine right? now how come it is not showing me 12 actually <clears throat> 17 12 right? it should be 10 only i don't know how it's not showing me 12 actually <laughs> so clean and the inbound what happens it has to show me only as 10 actually for so somebody has also made it i am not sure about it fine if anybody is also working on it it will be very difficult actually okay it should not be 12 actually it should be only 10 now i have to make one more correction on the receiving right? i have to make one more correction then the supplier becomes responsible right? so the two is lying here fine go that i will not go to the correct steps and then let us not perform the what happens correct steps again no? in the one no? so it is not done <clears throat> so click on done and then come out of it correct steps is not completed so let us now go there and then perform one more correction no? right come on i will not go to the place and then i will not perform the correct steps no? so, so i will not paste this receipt number no? okay, on that okay come search no? i will not make one more receipt So in this place, seventeen is there. Fine, select it and then click on correct. No point. I will not say it's only fifteen and not seventeen. Then the supplier becomes responsible for the missing one. Fine, click on correct. Then the supplier becomes responsible for the missing one. I will not right click on the duplicate. Unfortunately, what happened there? Uh, all the divergences have got closed actually. <clears throat> so go to this place. I will not go to the inventory overview. And then let us know how to put the item stock. No? I will not go to this place. Click on the item stock. <clears throat> so click on the manage item quantities and then query for the item. Is that key zero one zero one and then give a tap. I will not put a tick mark everywhere and click on search. One can search for it. You will not say that what happens. The, now only the supplier is responsible. Like. <clears throat> so this is what us. So are you all clear on the corrections actually? So if it is a direct receipt routing, only one time you have to correct. The supplier becomes responsible. If it is a standard receipt routing, you have to perform corrections twice. And then if it is going to be an inspection receipt routing, you have to perform the corrections three times. So only when you perform the corrections three times, then only the supplier becomes really responsible for it. The missing quantity you will become responsible. So corrections has to be performed three times in an inspection receipt routing. On a standard receipt routing, you have to perform corrections twice. And then in a direct, what happens only once. No doubts. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to send something is defective. I want to send it to supplier. <clears throat> This is called return to supplier act. Yes, Azim, you want to talk to me? Yeah, sorry. Actually, I, that's what I was about to ask. That uh, how supplier will come to know that uh, they have to do the correction for twelve. Uh, we only have to communicate. Now, fine. This uh, communication will not be what happens automatic. Actually, you only okay. have to communicate by email or something like that. Whenever you perform a correction, the system does not send any email to supplier actually. You only have to take correction. So, like ASN, is there anything the system can generate to no. some document to send it back to the supplier? Uh, nothing. Fine. If you have what happens, your uh, uh, India localization or any country specific localization, then uh, uh, we can have what happens a document to be created. Okay, that is called returnable gate pass, RG pass. Fine. RG pass can be created and then it can be sent. For corrections, there are no documents which are getting created. If something is missing, that's all. Nothing else. Now he is supposed to supply what for? No documents are created upon corrections. But when you are returning back to supplier, then we can even create a document. But again, with the localization patch only we can do it. Fine. Without the localization patch, we cannot do it. So go to the correct place. Now what I am going to do is I am going to return it. I am going to perform a return. I will not go that far. I will not go there. So corrections is now completed. We are now going to perform a receipt returns now. Go that point. So let us now go there. In the returns, we have a return receipt now. Finally, come to the return steps. I am now going to go and then perform a return. Go there. So I will now paste this number. Give a tap and then click on search. Five two one four five. I am going to make a search. Go there. So from my inventory, what happens? I am now going to send it to the what happens? Supply directly. Now we have a packing facility in inventory. Then in that case, what happens? I will now send back one number to the supplier. Directly on this, so go there. So go there. I will not say how much of quantity you are going to supply. Fine. One is now going to be returned back to the supplier. The supplier, I am returning back. I will not put RMA number. Fine. It is the RMA. Fine. I will not say one to three. It is called return material authorization. So this is not coming. If anything uh, reason is also there. If anything is available, what happens? I will not say uh, something is defective, damaged goods, whatever it is. You go there and then click on submit. So one quantity will now go to the supplier directly. So it is now submitted. Okay. So the return transaction is submitted. Are it? So go to the manage item quantities. Then if you make a search, no fine. Now supplier has to supply not twelve, thirteen. No, no search, no. It will not show thirteen. 
How come it has become 14 now? Fine. Oh, uh, in the previous one, okay, 172. Fine. Everything put together, it must be 100. It was 12, sir. Earlier it was 12. I don't know why it's now showing me 14 actually. Fine. 15, 72, 82, 87, and then it must be 13 only. I don't know. There are some problems on that. No? Fine. I don't know. It must be 13 actually. So we can even see how much he has to supply on this. No? Fine. Fine. I will not go there. I will not go to the place. Expected results. I will not go to the what? Uh, go to the results. <clears throat> then click on the expected results. No? Fine. Receive expected shipments. We go there. And then I will go there. This is what's called purchase order. What? US 164.502. No? It has to show me as only 13. Fine. 13 is correctly shown there. But there is something, some mistake there. No? Fine. The 13 is expected. Now, we don't have a facility to what happens, uh, uh, return it back to the supplier actually. Many a places, inventory will not be able to. In which case, what you will do is, you will not go to the delivery and then click on return. Number. So what I do is, I will not return the supplier, but I will not returning it to the receiving section actually. Receiving section, fine, go there. I will not put two quantities. Away. So two quantities, I'm going to and click on submit now. So the 17 will now become 19 here. Previously, what happened, you have 17 here, in this place, let me go there. So if you go to the what's called manage item quantities, inventory, and then go to the manage item quantities. So previously, what happened? 17 as there, fine. K0101, and then get that, and then put a tick mark everywhere. Now the stock has increased. <clears throat> so go there. Again, what happens there? It is now behaving in a very erratic manner. Fine. 17 plus 13. <clears throat> so 13 has come now, fine. But uh, previously it was having only 15, sorry. Yeah. Protein of that. So now two quantities has come over here. Now from here, what happens is we have to perform a return. So we had to make a return. You know that. You know, click on it. I will not make a return. So click on what happens. Search again now. Right? Search again. Click on search again. So we are going to perform a return. So click on it. I will not click on return now. <clears throat> not the delivery basically. And we had to go to the receiving area. You go to the receiving area. Fine. Here, is the, here the two is lying. And click on it. So the receive. So click on return now. From this way, what happens? You're going to return the supplier. So go there, click on supply, by which what happens? This will not go to the supplier actually. Now the supplier has to supply what? Two more extra now. So 13 plus 2, 15 he has to supply. So click on it. Now go there and then expand and then have a word. Click on search. He has to supply 15. So 15 is line. So this is on returns actually. From the inventory itself, if you have a facility, we can return back directly to the supplier. Or otherwise, you send it to the receiving in one go, and then next step, what happens, you send it to the supplier. If you don't have a packing facility on the inventory, we have to send it to only receiving area, and then from there, we have to send it to the supplier. So this is on the supplier, what happens, the returns actually. Any doubts? Good then. Now, the next topic. The next topic is what? We are going to see the unordered results. There is no ordering at all. So I will not right click on the duplicate. So if there is no order at all, now how are you going to receive it? Actually? I've done it many times. There is not any purchase order at all. So in this case, what happens? You go there. I will now open up the manage receiving parameter. So go to the setup and maintenance. And then you click on it. And then go to the search now. And search. And then I will now go to what? Manage percentage. Receiving percentage. Para percentage. So we are now going to go to the manage receiving parameter. So in the receiving parameter, what happens? We can enable the unordered receipts actually. Allow unordered receipts. So if this is not enabled, then what happens is that in this place, if you click on done now, fine, you will not be able to receive in the place at all. Without any purchase order, if you want to receive it, if you go there. In the returns, fine, there is no, in the unordered receipts, there is only a match option is available, but there is no receipt option is there. So you go to the manage receiving parameters. Let me enable it now. Fine. Allow unordered, I'm enabling it. So I click on save and close. So this is at the org level. So all the items on this org can be received in the unordered way. Fine. Click on save and close. All the items are there. Now if you go there, click on it. Now one more thing will be coming. Fine, we go there. We'll again, what happens? We we'll open up some other tab region. I will know what happens. Uh, something else. Fine. I will now go to the correct receipts. And then I will again come back now. <clears throat> so click on done and then come out of it. And then go there, click on it. I will now go to this place. And then you go to the what? You have to get it now. Fine. It's not coming as such now. Fine. So let us now go to some other area fine, and then come back here. Go there. So I will again go there, click on it. I will now go to the inventory again now. Click on it. If it is still not coming, then you have to log out and log. Go there. I will now go to the inventory. So let us see whether the 
the second one on the thing is coming now. Thank you for making my house. So I'm not good. The results now. Thank you for the results. And then the results. What happens now? Create unordered list. So this was coming only after you put a tick mark on the manager receiving parameters. Sometimes what happens? You may even have to log out alone. Fortunately, without logging in, logging out and logging in came out. That was the point. I will now go on and get done. So what I will do is I am the uh, requester actually. I have not talked to Rosemont India. Why don't you supply these two transmitters? I need it urgently. So he says, yes, I am having a stock, sir. Okay, you send it to the delivery channel. I will now take care of the results in the game. Click on it. So I will now inform the purchase officer. The purchase officer will now inform, in turn, inform the gate man that so and so item, two quantities are coming up. What is the item? So click on the item. Create an order. Item is what? I will now say K0101 is the one time to that. And then I will now say two quantities are coming. So first put the item. So first put the item. The item is coming. Quantity is what two. And then we have to say to which location. Remember, we cannot deliver this into inventory at all. The destination cannot be inventory. It can be only receiving. So it's here. <coughs> Give it up. <coughs> so I will not choose the Seattle. <coughs> so it is going to be received only in Seattle. And we cannot put on any sub inventory at all. <coughs> because what happens, it is only a, what's called your uh, gate receipt actually. Don't use it. This is only for WMS number. For the warehouse management system, this is one fine. Don't receive anything. So it is a location based visiting. Two on the receiving. So click on it, result client. Fine, click on create zip. Now we have to say which supplier has supplied it. And click on create zip. And then what happens? We have to put the supplier name. Supplier name is what? ABC Consulting. And then you have to supplier. So your shipment number is so and so. Packing clip number is so and so. And the shipping method is DHL. So always add all the value additions here. Babel number is so and so. Bill of loading number is so and so. And the notes is so and so. And then click on submit. So by giving a value addition, Whenever the inventory in charge takes a report, it will be giving him a lot of valuable information for him later on to track it. Nothing is mandatory actually, but it is preferable to have everything. So this is what is fine for that. So click on create, your GRN gets created. For two quantities, the gate man is now making a receipt based upon the delivery chalon handed over by the lorry driver actually. The lorry driver is handing over a delivery chalon to the gate man. So the gate man is now putting information, everything, two quantities, fine, click on submit. Now, this cannot be delivered at all. So 52156 is there. What happens? Your receipt number now. Right? So it will not take off it. And then if you try to deliver it, it will not allow that because there is no PO at all. We will not go to this place. Thank you. I will not go to this place. <coughs> I will not try to put away now. Fine, put away. So when I try to put away this unordered quantity, fine, that point, and then click on search. So search for it. Nothing will be coming. Out. Now what happens? Uh, they will now inform the PO man now, fine, or the purchase officer. So the purchase officer is now going to create a P1. He will now go and create a P1. So click on it. He will now go there. He will now create a P1. So click on the what happens? The star icon. I will now go to the P1 over you. And then he will now create a P1 for these two quantities. Thank you. Buddy. So go to this place. Click on create order. He is now going to create order on the ABC consulting. On ABC consulting, he is creating it. Click on create. So it has come in an unordered way. It has crossed the gate. And then it is now lying in the receiving section. So, go there. so click on it. I will now go to the lines area. In the schedule, the plus will not be coming. You have to go to the lines area and then put the two quantities over here. Click on plus. I will now put the two quantities over here. He is now going to create a P1. So it's a K, 0, 1, 0, 1, and then give it a tap. So he will now put the quantity as 2 now. So 2 is the quantity. And then he has negotiated prices for 10 of the And then I go to the schedule. And then the schedule cannot be direct at all. Whenever you are receiving anything on the unordered, what happens? You cannot have a direct delivery. Direct delivery is not possible. I will not simulate the mistake now. Thank you. You cannot. You can have either a standard or inspection receipt loading on it. Now I am not putting it as a direct. Receipt loading of direct is not allowed for an unordered receipt. Thank you. <coughs> and then here, what happens? The PO is not ready. So use 164503 is ready. We will not submit for it. Now, the next activity is to what? We have to match our this thing. Before. I cannot enter the point. I'm not forgetting it again. So, go there. so in this place, what happens? We have to give either the requested date or otherwise the promised date. <clears throat> and, put another date and then click on submit. Another date is a mandatory one out of these two dates. Click on submit. So 164503 is now submitted properly. Now, what 
the uh, whatever the inventory will now do it is what he is going to match the PO against the result number. You know, you know where to you know where to match. So what he will do, you will now click on it. You will now go to what match or not results. Fine. Click on the match or not results. You know, go that point. Result number, he is now going to paste and then he is now going to make a search for it. And click on search, he is now going to search on the result. Now, one line is ready for a match. And select it and then he is going to make, make a match. And click on match. So, you don't select it and then you will now put on a match. Actually. So, while matching it, what happens? The document number is what? US 164.5 and then 503 is the one time. You are now matching it. Right. US 164 <clears throat> and then click on search now. Is a 503. 502 is coming, but 503 is yet to come. Because there's no submitted for approval, so we had to wait for it. <clears throat> it is now coming. So I will now choose the 503. Thank you. So it is the line number one, and that is schedule is one. If you try to match, it will now say Poda Ponga. I will not match it because what happens? You say is the error actually. So it will be the one, one. Result routing has to be either standard inspection. So what happens? You are, this thing is not allowed at all. We cannot have a direct. So, on an unordered results, the PO should not be on a direct result routing. It has to be either standard or inspection. So, it is not error load. Let alone correct it. We'll now go there. We'll now query the PO and then correct it. Correct for the error. Go to the manage orders. <coughs> so, we are going to correct now. So, order is on US 164503 is the one. And give it app. And then click on search now. We are going to search for it. We'll now search for it. Since we complete only receiving, it's, uh, it won't allow. Or... No. See, an unordered item. Uh, if you want to make a direct delivery, you have to have a PO first. Of that is the reason that what happens is it is not allowing you on a direct direct delivery. Yeah. Select it. And then here, what happens? You go there. So click on edit now. Fine. Click on edit. And then you're going there. Thank you. And then it is now going to create a change order. Actually. So whenever you are creating a change order, you always mention why we are creating a change order. Actually. So that what happens? It will be very uh, logical and meaningful. I don't say, I don't say change of what happens? The receipt routing. <clears throat> To standard. So that what happens you can even and this facility is not available in EBS, not in the new facility that we want. I will now go to the schedules and then click on edit. Thank you. So we are editing it and then once we edit it, we will now change it to what standard. So it must be either standard or inspection. I will now make it a decision. <clears throat> go to this place and then click on OK and then I will now submit for it. So click on submit by which what happens. This is not changed actually. <coughs> <coughs> the change order has been submitted. Now you can see a small I icon will be coming. If you click on search now, and I icon will be coming. That means what? The change order is pending for approval. I click on it. <coughs> change order is pending. <coughs> and we have made everything is automatic. So after some time, what happens? It will be getting approved. The change order is pending. So if you go on the query, the I icon will go away. The I icon will go. So once when this is gone, then we can very well match it. Actually. Click on search. The I icon has to go away and wait for it. So once the I icon goes away, we can very well do what? We can match. Now I icon gone away. If you go to the match and order results, fine, go that point. I will not click on submit. Now fine, click on submit. It will not throw any error at that point. Fine, the only change to select. You must enter the quantity, fine, go that point. Where is the quantity field? I will not give a cancel and then come back. Cancel. cancel, done. And then let me match it again. Let me perform a match. <clears throat> Because sometimes, so click on it. I will now match it and go to the match unordered results. Fine, go that one. The purchase order is now created with the standard one. Fine, go that. I will now paste this result and give it up. And then click on search now. Fine, it's becoming. And then select it and then click on match and go to match. And then here, what happens? Go there. So the document number is what? US 164503 is a one. And then give it up. And then line number is one. The schedule is one. At this stage itself, it was throwing an error. Now it will not throw any error. Thank you for okay. So now it will now say the match transaction is now created. Any doubts? So for matching it, you must be having either a standard or a result loading on the PO. And direct will not work. So click on OK and by which will okay. Now we can very well put away. So put away can be done. So click on it. Go to this place and then we are going to perform a put away. So, go there. so click on the put away results and then we are going to perform a put away. Paste it now. If you go on the query, now the line will be visible on the put away now. Previously, the line was not visible. Now the line is visible. Select it and put away. The put away transaction is now very clear. So I had to put the submit also. Fine. Where exactly you're putting it? Now go to the place close. <clears throat> so click on submit now. Fine. Click on submit. 
so they which they not completed the put away transaction this is the way the unordered business is not happening but uh, can you tell me there is a problem in this no fine for the management actually what is the problem for the management it is a problem if the requester is now asking the supplier to supply directly and then afterwards the purchase officer is now making a purchase order what is the problem for the management actually or the problem for the purchase officer also anybody can make a guess <laughs> okay i'll tell you so let's say the item is going to have a cost of 1000 so when i ask the rosemont team what happens uh, can you supply he told that see already it has been packed for ongc fine is another oil company it has already packed it and then uh, i have to unpack it and then give it to you as a priority one so what happens it will not be 1000 it will be 1200 price i will not be bothered about the price okay fine doesn't matter you send it so it is it has been discussed and then even also the email to me also and then i will not just simply forward the email to purchase officer please regularize this purchase so an item which is purchased for 1000 dollars fine now it has been 1000 or 1200 for urgent purchase because of it, it is now coming in on order so normally what happens whenever uh, we have the what happens the production meeting happening on every day now. so on the production meeting the vice president will ask nana you have made an order fine what what are the reason so i had to give a justification about that not right there is a urgent problem in the field sir uh, one particular transmitter has now failed and then uh, there is very important and so what happens i ordered it immediately then he will now say okay so an unordered one will now result in a higher price on which what happens the purchase officer has got no way to negotiate because we already consumed the item so these are the issues so they will always ask all the requesters to avoid the unordered way of uh, what happens ordering so that what happens the purchase officer will now negotiate the best price for the company actually so there are all some of the practical problems which you will be facing it when you are going for unordered you will not go to the place not find all i won't go there i will not right click and then duplicate nana <coughs> yeah nana uh, nana we can create the express purchase order also right instead of uh, the expense purchase orders not expense express urgent Ex- purchase urgent oh. purchase orders again if it is via purchase office order purchase officer it's okay If the requester okay. himself is doing it, then what happens? Uh, it is always what happens. Uh, you are not negotiating the price actually. The prices are not negotiated. Okay. 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 The express creation of a purchase order is only going to create a document number only. Fine. Apart from that, nothing does. So in the requisition, we have one document called one tick mark for what? Create an express PO. So it just creates reserves a number, and nothing else. Fine. It doesn't create an express purchase order automatically. Actually. it only creates a number okay okay since the requester not creating the pos but only the buyers can do it okay. yeah yeah requester can also create a po no fine that will be discussed in uh, what happens there is called touchless buying so the touchless buying concept will be discussed in purchasing and training <clears throat> you can also create a po that so go to the setup and let them else <clears throat> so go there click on it i will not go on that what happens there search for it come back to search i will not go there i will not go to what manage facility Receiving percentage, parameter percentage. So what is the matter with receiving percentage? Now we are going to see the substitute results. Substitute results. Fine. Now enabling the substitute. So in this place, I am enabling the substitute. Fine. Click on save and close. And then in the item itself also, we have enabled the substitute result. Click on save and close. In the item also, we enable the substitute. Now what I am going to do is I am not going to go to the inventory now. Fine. I will not go to the right click and then duplicate. Let me go to the inventory now. <clears throat> Let me go to the inventory. <clears throat> what is this and that so i will now go to what product management i go to the product information management <coughs> product management and then let me browse the item and then i am going to define the substitutes so the substitutes i am going to define so click on it i will now go to the browse items and then let me define the substitutes so go there go to the browse items and then here i am now going to define the substitutes actually so let me click the first item is a key 01 And then I will not enter in. I will click on search. So no problem. And remember, substitutes must be defined only on the master arm and not on the child arm. Same like in EBS. In EBS also, what happens? This is one. You should not define on the child arm. And all the substitutes must be defined only on the master, just like in EBS. I will click on it. You click on the underlock. I will go there. I will now go to the relationships of this. Open up the item. I will go to the go to the relationship. So go to the relationship. And then in the relationship, I am going to define the substitute. So go to actions and then go to create. I am not going to create a relationship as substitute. I am not going to create. So I am now on zero one now. Fine on this one. So two item was what K zero one zero two. 
I'm not giving a damn. And then there are multiple types are available here, out of which what happens is only one has come in fusion and there is substitute. Nothing else has come. So substitute is the only one which has come now. And then I say reciprocal is also there. That means what? Two is a substitute for one, and then one is a substitute for two. So in both directions, they are reciprocal actually. Is reciprocal. Thank you, okay, fine. There is no doubt. You yeah, know, define the substitutes for this. I will not give a save and close. Thank you. I will not give a save and close. So remember, thank you on save and close. So one and two are mutually, what happens is substitutable actually. Thank you. I will not go to the second item now. I will not go to the second item. And then I will not define the second one. Fine, second item on the master. You know, the second item, fine, click on it. Click on the hyperlink of it. I'm not going to click on the hyperlink. And then here, I will not go to the is the master org actually. I go to the relationship. Remember, relationships must be defined only on the master, not the child. Just like in EBIS. So I will not say K0103. Then give it up. Right. So drop it down. I will not make it as a substitute. Yeah. I am not enabling the reciprocal. Now tell me, if I order purchase order number one for one, what are all the items I can receive against one? Against one, what are the items I can receive? <clears throat> Anybody? When item two. Item one and then item two is very correct. Now, against two, fine. what are all the items I can receive? Against one, two. Fine. Three, think three, think and then tell me. Fine. Think and tell me. One and three. I, no. You're not 100% correct. It's a reciprocal. It's a reciprocal, right? We different it is. See, for one, I can receive one and two now. For two, what are all the items I can receive now? Think, think, and then tell me. Only three. Only, one. three. Only three is wrong. One, two, three. Only two. One, two, three. Who told one, two, three? All Azim. one, two, three. Azim is one, two, three. He's 100% correct now. Yes, pass the rest now. Against two, we can receive one, two, and three. Clear? Any doubts? Azim has told very correctly now. <clears throat> Clear? Fine. That is the way it works. Now, for three, what are the items I can receive? For three, what are the items I can receive? Three only. Three only is 100% correct. Three only is 100% correct. Thank you. <laughs> now, let us now make a purchase order for this. Microphone. Now, go to this place. And then let us now make a PO. So, go to the purchase order. So, let us now make a PO. And then check it now. Click on it. Now, go to make a PO. Click on it. Now, make a PO. So, I will now go to the create order. And then I am going to put all the three items in. So, go ahead. Click on it. Supplier is what? ABC consulting. <clears throat> Click on it. So click on create. So now this is the way the substitute works. And remember, on the receiving parameter also it enabled it. And the item is already enabled actually. The item also has to be enabled actually. I will not go to the lines and then I don't know, add the lines. So go there. So click on plus and then let me add the lines. Go there. It's a K0101 and then give it a half. It is going to be 100 quantities. I will not make it as 100 quantities. And then the price is going to be 10. And then I will not put a date over here. So the date is required. I will not go to the schedules and then put a date. Schedules. And then I will not pick one of the dates. A requested date or a promised date, one of them is a mandatory. I can even ask him today itself. I will not go there. So click on it. Go to this So I will not make what? Today is what? I will not make it as what? October. <clears throat> Sorry, what happened? Click on it. I will click on it. I will not say 25 minutes. Today, I'm not asking for it. The one, yeah, I'm asking for it. <clears throat> and if you go on then uh, look for it, it will be of a standard reciprocity because by default, it's standard. I will not add the second line now. Thank you for it. I will not add the second line. I'm not going to add the second line. So go to this place. I will not go down. When click on the lines area. I go there. Let me add the second line. So click on what plus now. I will not add the second line. Go there. The K0102 is the one time I add. I will not go for 200 quantities. 200 quantities, I'm going to make it number. The price is 10. And then here, I will not go to the schedules and then I will not give a date. So, what happens? There? They have not added this automatically. It is a bug actually. By default, they have to give the date as today's date. And then if a requester wants to let them change, fine, that is the way. I even raised the SR, but the Oracle is not responding to me because when we were an implementer, they don't respond. If it is a customer, what happens is they respond to a request. So click on plus. 
I go to the line here. I don't go to the line here. I don't go there. So click on plus now. I want to add the third line. The third line I'm going to add it. Okay, zero one zero three is the one time you get. I will not go for three hundred quantities for three hundred quantities the one. No, that's not it. The price is going to be ten now. Go there. So I will not go to the schedules and then I will not go to the dates. So go there. So the third line of action. I will not go to the third line. I will not say today is required. Now, if you go on the edit, you can now see the substitute is also put a tick mark. I click on it. Item is also having a substitute. The receiving parameter is also having a substitute. You can now see allow substitute is enabled. Actually, so click on it. All the three lines are allow substitute is enabled. I click on submit now. So by which what happens? One six four five zero four is now submitted properly. One six four five zero four is now submitted properly. Let us now go there and then try to receive it. What is the case? Let us now go to the case and then receive it. One six four five zero four. We are going to do that. So click on the receive expected shipments. US one six four five zero four. I am going to do that. Yes, one six four five zero four is the one. Thank you, Vijay. You're going to do it. So it's not at approved. Yes, one six four five zero four. You have to wait for some time now because the approval process is now still going on now. So keep on searching. One is approved. So keep on searching. One six four five zero four is coming. Select it and then click on approve. And then we are going to make a search for it. We are going to make a search for it. You are going to search for. Okay. So I will not keep my customer the first one, and then I am going to make a review. I click on it. Now the supplier has no supplied item number two. So the supplier has supplied item four. So you know, expand it. Now. Still expand it. No, no. And click on the magnifier icon. And then if you go there, and then if you make a change, now it will not show you. I go there. I will not. What I will say, make a search for this. Now what are the items he can supply against this? Now I go there. So I will not say zero one zero two. Now I go there. I will not put what. K zero one and then make a search. No, thank you for such. K zero one. If you search it, it will not show. Both the items are available for you now. Click on it. The percentage is required. Somewhere some percentage is required. Thank you for such. It was such. What am I going to say? The application error occurred. Oh God. Why it is not coming? I will not make a blank and then make a search. No, a blank and then make a search. I do not say. I will not say K. So click on search. No. Ah, you must enter at least three characters. No, thank you. Okay, so K zero one. So click on search now. It has to show me. Oh, okay. I will not go to the advanced and then make a search now. I click on it. No go there. I will not say start with K zero one and then make a search now. I click on advanced. No search for it. Oh God, it is not allowing me at all. Okay, the search is not coming at all. No go there. So let me do one thing. I will not go and then change it to what K zero one. Uh, K zero one zero two and then give a tab now. Right? No see whether it is accepting this item or not. It is not even accepting it. Why so? Log out and log in, na. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> That is what I was thinking. No, thank you, sir. Well, now log out and log in. No, thank you, sir. Baker system, I find this should send automatically sends. No, thank you. I will now log out and log in. So click on it. Log out and log in. Click on confirm, and that will now log in. So click on log in. Here, now log out and log in. Click on it. Here, now log in. So go to this place and then here I will not click on it. I will not make a receipt. I will not go to what inventory overview. Let me go to the receipts and then receive it. Click on it. Click on inventory and then here what I am going to go to the receipts now. So I will not query for the item. No query for the item. So receipts fine. Receive expected shipments is the one. I click on it. So is what is a US point one six four five zero four is the one thing you get. So click on search. Then select it and click on the ring. And up here I will now click on the magnifier. So if the magnifier is there, yeah. so if you go to the search area, <clears throat> and then I will now remove all these things because it is K zero one zero two is now coming up to zero. And then I click on search. No, fine. Just to show me the second item also. Ah, it is not even accepting it. Nana, so, is it because uh, you have you have done the relationship at the master level? Yeah, it has to be done only at the master level. It's not, level. Done, it's not done even in the EB also. It has to be done in the master. Level. Okay. There is some problem here. So let me go on and put it directly. No, fine. No, that's not. I will not go there. Click on it. I will not make it as two. No, fine. No, that's two. 
and then make a change and see whether that's successful k01 did we assign these items to child log i might have assigned it find out not i'll not make a check on find out go to this place not okay not i'll go and make a check of it not okay i think it is all assigned so take on this it is not Been, so now are you saying like uh, the relationship has to be created mst but items also can be assigned to those socks right item has to be assigned to that then only what happens you are able to do it the and these applicable only for receiving right not for the during vip completion and all vip completion is a different one altogether vip completion is a different i'm just saying like so this component is not available like an issue and a substitute item so it's not like that right it's all available Okay. like you go there and then how look at the fact you know how look at the relationship now how look at the relationship i don't know what the relationship is so you can see the receipt profile is enabled find that for the first item uh, the second item is a substitute actually is a substitute is able to enable so all there so the receipt expected shipment that is not coming at all so let us now go to the second item and then see the fact click on cancel nana sir there was a date on that what was that date Oh God! In this place, ah, uh, the browse items. In the substitute. In the substitute relationship, there is a date. Okay. Yeah, twenty third. Ah, maybe. The date is causing a problem. I'm not sure about let it. Let us see. Let us see if that date is the date one. The browse items. Then go there. In this place, what happens? Go there. The one. Right, the one. I will now click on edit, and then how? And then let us now start date. I will now put yesterday itself. So place twenty three. So let us now change it to yesterday. Now, start date is yesterday. Can click on it. So the relation. You you must enter a start date that is on or after twelve twenty six only. Twelve twenty six p.m. only. So go there. No, twenty third. So twelve twenty six. You know, saying twelve twenty six. No, I can't. Twelve twenty six. What is one space. One space is needed after one twenty. Click on OK. Now, man. You know, see, when click on save and close. So the relationship is now defined. Sometime we expect it to punch, and then here I will now say the receive ex receive date is what twelve. Uh, I will now say twelve twenty seven actually. So there I will not twenty seven. So let us now change it to twelve twenty seven. Now, man, what not? I will not go that far. I will now click on the magnifier. So the email center transaction date there is on or before twelve twenty seven p.m. actually. Oh God! So it is not accepting this twenty seven now. I will now give a cancel and then come out of it. So the system date is now like this. Okay, now I will click on the zip. Now see the date has come twenty seven. So it is now automatically come twenty seven actually. And what more? You will now see whether uh, the first one, whether the second line is now coming up or not. <coughs> So go there. Click on it. I will now remove the. So what happens? Go there. P zero one zero. And then now search the second item. Actually, visible actually. It is not visible at all. No idea. No idea. No idea. Now try in the next item. Now cancel this and try in the next item. Search the next item. Click on it. Cancel it. I will now keep my item. The second one. Now find the configuration. Find the configuration. I am going to this place from there. So let us now query this item. Maybe while you are creating the relationship itself, the time should have been given very properly actually. So go there. I will now remove the because it is K zero one zero one. Now up to zero. I go there. Click on search. Ah, it is not there. And even if I manually make a change, also it is not accepted yet because the PO is also having the receipt. The receiving parameter is also having a what happens? A tick mark. So it has to come. So for the third item, it will be R. Right? Somebody please make an R and D and then see fine. What is the where is the mistake? I am making it. I don't know. And there is some mistake I am making it. So for one, what happens? We can very well change it to two. For the two, we can even put one, two, three. All the three will be available. And then for the three, only three is possible. So there is a theory. So it is not exactly working. There may be some mistake I am making. It. If you succeed on the substitutes, please post on the group. We will not try to learn from you. Where is the mistake I am making? Actually. So this is more done. So go there, go to the place, and then I go to the manager. This is important. <clears throat> so it's like gone. We are now logged out of it. 
will not go to the place and then click on search and then click on search or not go to the manage receiving parameters. So manage percentage, receiving percentage, parameter percentage. So we go to the manage receiving parameters. So the substitute is complete, but it's not working fine. We are not done the unordered. So here, what happens, I will now say uh, what's called allow routing overwrite. Fine, allow routing overwrite. So now, if you go on then what happens? You go there, click on the purchase orders, and then go there, go to the reception, and go to the what's called the reception, and go to the reception, and go to the place. And then if you go on, then try to receive it. So if you go to the reception, receive expected shipments, fine. I go there. So I will now go on the US 164, <clears throat> and then uh, 504, and then make it there. So once when you're trying to make a receipt, and go that point, and then it can be received only to the receiving section, actually. You go on and say, he can only receive it to the receiving section. But sometimes what happens if you go to the receiving, they will now make a check of everything and then afterwards only they will deliver it. So it will not take around two to three hours in the receiving section. But I want, do not want to wait at all. I want it urgently. So I want this to be delivered in inventory also. In such cases, what happens? They will now enable this one. They will now go to this place. I will now go to the manager receiving parameters. What they will do is allow routing overwrite. They will enable it. So for this R, we can very well overwrite the routing. Thank you. Once I'm closed. We can very well override the routing. You go there, click on it. I will know what happens. Give a cancel and then requery. Now, this becomes irritable actually. So, click on it. Then go there, click on it. I will know. Select it and then click on receive. Now, it becomes irritable actually. Now, go there. So, there are show quantities what 100 has come. Now, what happens? Only one I want to deliver into inventory. I will not choose one. I have done it many times. Go there. I will not make it as one. I will not deliver it to the inventory directly. So, it becomes irritable actually. And then I have to give a justification also to the management. Why you bypass the receiving? I know say it's urgent, sir. Then they will not say okay. Because the requester is the ultimate authority in a procurement life cycle. If he gives a justification, everybody will accept. So, because everybody is providing a service for the requester. Click on the visit and then submit. So by which what happens? We can very well override the routing. I do it for one or two quantities, which is urgent. The remaining one will be coming in a normal manner. It will not go to the receiving section and then afterwards it will be delivered actually. So this is a, this is a business process. So this one is okay. I will not go to the receiving parameters. <clears throat> now, uh, uh, many a times what happens, uh, if a purchase order is closed, what happens, we cannot receive it all. Right? Include closed views. Right? So, let us say, your yeah, purchase order is for 100 quantities. Now. Let us not make a purchase order. Right? I will not make a new purchase order for 100 quantities. <clears throat> so, click on the create particular order. I am not going to make a new purchase order for 100 quantities. Actually. And then, if the supplier has now supplied 95 quantities, he cannot do any uh, any more supplies at all. And every company will be having a 5% reject actually. So we are going to have a 5% reject. So go there, go down. So go to this place and click on plus. I'm going to have a 5% reject actually. And click on plus. Go to the place. I will not go. K0101 is the one time give a time. Go for the 100 points. The price is still. Go to this place. And then go to the schedules and then I will not give a schedule. I will not make a schedule. I will not go to the request edit one date. I am going to give it up and it. I will not go on and edit this. And many a companies will be having a 5% reject action. Go to that place. What happens? Receive close tolerance is 5%. And then it will be a reject action. That means what? If you are supplied in 95, he cannot supply the balance 5 at all. For which, what happens? If you send the truck, the carrying cost will be more than the item's cost. In Tamil, we call it as what? <coughs> Sundaka kaapana, samakkuli mukaapana. So the carrying cost will be more than the order cost. So what happens? The company will be having a 5% reject action. If you have supplied 95 against this, then what happens? The PO gets close for receiving it. So the 5% is coming from that. We will now experiment on this later. Is it order? 5% reject. So is a 5% reject from that one. We will now go and then approve it. So click on submit. Now I am now going to receive. 164505, I am going to receive only 94 now. Let me receive 91. Go to the receiving section. 164505 is the one. Let me receive 95. Now go to the receive expected shipments. I will now receive 95. So US 164505 is the one. And then US 164505. <coughs> so it is not up to 95 such. And wait for it to be done. So it is having a 5% reject. It has been submitted for 
the coming fine came out of it. So I am going to receive only 95 quantities for this one. Let me receive 95. So we are going to receive only 95. Click on subscribe. 94 I am going to receive. Select it. And then here, I will not click on receive. I am going to receive 94 quantities like this. I will not put 94. 94 is that kind of what? And then click on create receipt. And then I am creating receipt. Now, since there is a 5% reject, what happens? The status will still be open only. 5 to 1. Find the, the GRN number. Find the GRN number. Find the okay number. If you go to the overview, purchase order. Find the, order. the status will still be open only. If you go to the manage orders. And then query the order number. So go there. So the US 164 the one. So once when you search for it, what happens? It will still open. Now, the moment I receive one more, now fine, go there, click on that, fine. One more, it gets closed actually. So go there, click on it. I have now receive one more because we are now touch the threshold actually. The threshold is 95. So once we touch it, what happens? Gone. Go in the, go in the 164505. And then give it app. And then click on search, now fine, you go to search for it. Come on, man. click on search. And then select it. And then let me receive one more. So only one more quantity I received it. So the total quantity received is 95. Fine, click on create now. Fine. Then afterwards, no more receipt is possible. Fine, click on create. The GRL is now created. 159, 159, You go to the manage orders and then make a search. It will be closed for receiving now. If you go and then make a search now, it will be closed for receiving. So in this case, if you go and then query for it now, fine, it will not be available at all. So in such cases, what happens? Uh, the management has now given a permission of it. In this case, if you go to the manage receiving parameters, fine. Uh, we will not say include closed POS for receipts. You won't do it. So if this is enabled at the org level, we can very well include the closed POS also for receipt action. Include closed POS. Okay, click on save and close now. Fine. We will not have. We'll not go there. So what they will do is the man who is sitting in the in inventory, what he will do is if you make a search, it will not come at all. So that is enabled in this place. He will not add a field now. Thank you for add field. So in the field, what happens? You'll not say include closed POS has to come now. Fine. It is not yet visible. Include cancel is coming. Include close is not coming. We will not get done and then come out of it. We'll now go to the some other area and then do it. Now. I will now go to some other area. Go to the home icon and then come back again. Now click on it. So click on this. I will now go to what inventory overview. You will now go to the inventory overview. Click on it. <coughs> and then here I will now go to what receive expected shipments. Fine. Click on it. 164. The US. Fine. 164. 505 is a one time give it app. And then I'm going to add the field. Thank you for it. Now you see include closed POS are also coming. Previously, only include cancel was coming. Now, because the tick mark on the receiving parameter is also coming. Thank you for it. I'm going to do it now. So I will not put a tick mark and then query for it. Include closed POS also. If I'm going to make a query, thank you for it. I remember this will now expensive for us now. Because so the five quantities he is now going to charge a higher freight actually. So for which the requester must be ready to answer it. So click on the receiving. Everything requested is responsible for. I will not click on show receipt quantity. How much is uh, bidding? You will not say only two quantities are supplied in it. Afterwards, what happens? I don't want it. So click on create it. So you will not do it. And then afterwards, let us now close the PO. That is what you are saying. <clears throat> and then let us now make a fresh PO for the balance three. Actually. So this is called include closed POS for receipts. You will not go to this place and click on the receiving parameter. <clears throat> so process, another thing is what? Print, what happens? You can print, uh, what happens? Uh, uh, one second. There is one print is there. Print shipping documents for return supplies. When you're returning it, we can print. This is a lab access for you. Print shipping documents for drop ship fines. This will be taken care of in order management, actually. Print shipping documents for return material. This is again, what happens? RMA this is again order management, actually, and publish. And then print receipt traveler. So once when you do a print receipt traveler, what happens is that it will all print it, actually. It will be printing. There will be a printer. Whenever the gate man makes it, what happens? It will be printing it on the printer. Click on save close. Now you can see that it will be printing on now. And go to the receive expectation. Click on it. Click on the Click on the save. Show the quantity. Find where that quantity. Three is there now. I will now make for two now. Thank you. Two. And then I click on create is it now. Click on create is it. No, 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 no. So everything is coming. Find where. So click on submit. By which what happens? Now. Yeah, what happens? Your yeah, print zip traveler will be printing it. It will be printing it on a printer actually. So once in the GRN is printed, so if you go there and then we will now we will go to this place, find over. So we will now go and then look at the process of thank you Now see a zip traveler is getting printed. So go to the what's called uh, your monitor process and then have a look at it. So the print zip traveler will be coming. 
This is available as a what's called a profile option in EBS. Here it is available as a receiving parameter. So it's not running. So once one is completed, since it is a report, we can very well republish it actually. It is on the print visit travel option. You know, succeeded fine, click on it. Now go there, click on it. Now go to this place. <clears throat> so the output can be republished fine. Click on it. We are going to republish it. So go there. Click on the wheel icon and then export to PDF. Now fine. Click on export to PDF. We are going to export it to PDF actually. So go there. Click on open up. So this is normally formatted by every company. And every company will be having a standard one and by which it, it gets formatted. The Rizip Traveler, based upon the inclines requirement, they will now position different fields in different places and then in different directions. The technical team will be configuring this print traveler that will be configured. So whatever fields they want, they will now put it on this place. I was now saying the description item uh, and then unit line, each hundred uh, ordered quantities under how much have been received now, everything will be done. This is on the print Rizip Traveler. So close it. Then I go to the sub along with the memory visiting parameter. So here. So Nana, what is the use of this receipt traveler report? It is a, basically to keep a record of whatever we have received in the gate actually. So you will be printing it and then you'll be filing it in a, in a big file actually. So that later on, okay. what happens if any auditing comes in, what happens is they can show this printer, this print output. So this many has crossed the gate actually. So ship to exception. Now the purchase order is on Bombay. And then if I'm trying to go on the receive it in Madras, if you say reject, it will not allow that. If the location is different, what happens, it will not allow. There's a lab access for me. So make it as none. Warning means what? With the warning, it will allow. If you are not receiving it on a different location, it will allow. Similarly for the ASN. ASN will be seeing and purchasing basically. And now you're using purchasing. Or, 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 what happens? Advanced shipper notice. Again, we are having the exercise. The yearly receipt tolerance days. Fine, but they, I am now going to buy banana. So if you are going to buy it before three days, let us say today is Sunday, I am going to use the banana only on Wednesday. And then if I am going to receive yesterday itself, what happens in my shelf, it will get spoiled actually. So you won't allow. So if you give this three days, what happens, it, will, it cannot receive before that. And there is one more reason that what happens, the payment terms may be immediate actually. So if I receive it before this day, what happens, I may not be having money to pay the supplier actually. The PO, PO uh, payment is what? Immediate. So because of these two reasons, what happens is they will not put this. Late is again, what happens if you are late by four days or five days or six days, what happens is we will reject the answer. No, no, can I explain again, please? <laughs> that uh, payment term is something you told about. Let us say the purchase order is having an immediate payment term. Fine. As and when you receive it, what happens is we have to pay. That is what it is. And then there's a banana. We are going to consume this banana only on Wednesday. Now, what happens is Sunday, let us say, uh, today is Sunday, and then let us say it's two days only, two days only. And then Sunday, if you receive it, then what happens is if the system accepts it, then the, it will be lying on the shelf for three days. And then when you want to really use it, at the time, what happens is it got spoiled, actually. So, so they will now say yearly receipt is not, should not be more than a certain amount of days, actually. And then there is one more reason for the early receipt is what? Uh, let us say the PO is no immediate action. So I have to, I will be having money only on Wednesday. And then if I receive it today, item may not get spoiled, but I have to pay the supplier immediately. So I may not have money for it. Supplier will be insisting upon this. One. So if he's supplying two days before, I may even reject in the gate. So for the both yearly receipt and then the late receipt, you have a common amount of what? None rejected one. So many companies will be using a reject option. So two and five days, what happens if it is rejected? It will not allow you to, what happens if it is beyond this tolerances, then they will not default onto the P1. The two and five will not default. Whenever you're creating new purchase order, what happens? These two things will be defaulting only. And then based upon it, it will be done. And then we will now, after the break, we will now look at the over zip tolerance. My over zip tolerance will not be done. After the break. This also is what? So whenever you set these things, what happens? They will be getting defaulted onto the P1. Okay, so we'll now look at the over zip tolerance after the break. So, stop.
stop it. If you are understanding receiving, can you put a green tick now? How many of you understood the receiving actually? Good, great, no fine. Azim Chandra has a great fine. Prabhu Ganan, RK fine. There are so many who understood the receiving actually. Fine, fantastic, fantastic, beautiful. I'm really, very happy to see this. So I am not leaving anywhere because what happens? I will not pass it. I will not pass the record. I will not pass because the receiving is not complete actually. So I am not closing it actually. I will not. So let me go on and share my mind. So go there. Now what I am going to do is I am not going to go for the over zip dollars. I will not say five percent. Over zip dollars is five percent now. And then I, I am not going to have it. Is what reject actually? Over zip action is what reject. So when I make a new PO, this will be defaulted onto the PO. This is the exception. I will not make it as none now. And then over zip tolerance five percent reject. So many companies will be having a five percent reject. So if the PO is for five of one hundred quantities, we can receive at the maximum only one not five. Beyond which the system is going to reject. Now. So click on save. So when I make a new PO, this will be getting defaulted onto this. Click on the map. Let us now make a new PO. Click on it. I will now go on and create an order. <clears throat> so go there. It's a ABC consulting. <clears throat> so click on create. Go there. Is that K zero one zero one? Go there. I will not go for hundred quantities. I will not say the price is going to be ten. So the price is going to be ten. I will not go to the schedules. I will click on the schedules. In the schedules, what happens? I will not put the date over there. No dates in there. And then I go and then edit now. I click on edit. You can now see it's a five percent reject which has been given on the receiving parameter would have got defaulted actually. The five percent reject is now got defaulted to the people. Now, against the hundred, we can receive only a maximum of only one not five, beyond which the system will not allow it all. So the five percent reject actually. So click on it. So go there. Click on it. I will not click on submit. So click on submit. So click on submit. Now, which what happens? US one sixty four five not six is now submitted properly. Now I have an urgent requirement of what one twenty quantities. I will ask the supplier. Do you have that much of a quantity against this purchase order? Yes, sir, we have it. So why don't you supply one twenty? Now, if they supply one twenty with a delivery challan, we'll now see what happens. Thank you, Monet. The supplier is now supplying one twenty against this people. So click on the now. We're now going to make a result. <coughs> so click on it. We'll now go to the go to the receive expected shipments. It is five not six of the people now. Yes, fine. One sixty four five zero six. So it's yes. One sixty four five zero six. Make a search. You know, coming from there. So click on it. <coughs> click on search. Select. <coughs> now, if you click on the show result, only it now shows. But the DC says is one twenty one. If you go on and change it to one twenty, give a tag. It will not throw an error now. So click on create result. If you want to get it, it now say it is now exceeding the five, uh, tolerance of five percent. The transaction quantity one twenty must be less than or equal to only one not five actually. You cannot exceed the quantity of tolerance. So for which what happens? They are given a worker or not? Okay. <coughs> so what you do is go there. You go to the manage receiving parameters, and then here enforce blind receiving. You go to enforce it. This case, what happens? The man who will be sitting on the gate will be blindfolded. He will not be able to see the hundred quantity at all. So once when you say the show result quantity will not be coming at all here, this show result quantity button itself will not come at all. So once when it's not come, so against the against the PO, he can render anything, any value itself. You are blindly blindfolding him, so it will not allow any quantity to be received actually. So go there, come on. I will not go to the manager receiving parameters. Enforcing the blind receiving, I will not give a save and close. Click on that. Now let us now go there and then log and log in. For such a major change, whatever it has to be logged out and logged in. So click on sign out and sign in. Are you clear upon this, anybody? <clears throat> so one, when you blindfold the man who is sitting in the gate against hundred, any quantity can be received. Actually, even though 
the recipe to scholars is only for y person you know logging in now go to this place i click on the star icon i go to the inventory overview i will now go to the recipes i now go to the page click on it and now go to the recipes on my front drop it down i will now go to the recipes you can go to the manage receive expected shipments so the find out six is the po now so the us 164506 the one that i get and then i click on search and then i am going to receive 120 again if you click on the receipt now the show receipt quantity would be being grayed out actually not possible now so now he is now putting on the delivery channel on his 125 limit app and then click on what create receipt you going to get it click on receipt so go that you want you are not creating receipt so here the error is coming the receipt quantity must be less than or equal to what was available quantity so actually uh, increase the, so this is actually a bug actually this bug is uh, preparing for a pretty long time it has to allow now so here what happens is there is only one more thing which you have to know now right the allow override must be there and it is already there now come on so we had to have the allow override this thing click on it we now go to the search now right i have now go to the manage receiving parameters manage percentage receiving percentage parameter this is a good space no so manage receiving parameter the one which i am going to search for it and on it so you have to have the allow routing override is already there so these are the only two tick marks which are required in gbus basically probably they might have added something more no fine i'm not sure of <clears throat> fine so uh, if this is there it is still not working here process all lines together is basically an express receipts which is yet to come in fusion no fine the, the thing is there but it is not yet come similarly printing 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 you can all try to do the printing similarly publish transactional business events to some other what happens uh, systems that whenever you are having let us say sap is payables basically so once it is received it will be publishing it to the sap system allow defaulting of lots of serial numbers from as and fine this will be from uh, what happens your supplier portal actually fine this will be from supplier portal so in the sub in the return side what happens the shift exception is not done fine as and is not fine these are all done fine also and then is about quality is again another topic fine i don't know quality fine over and then generation number is automatic and then you doing it and then for the receipt routing what happens you are having standard and then what happens rma is for order management actually so by which we have completed all the receiving parameters nana sir about this uh, enforced blind receiving mm -hmm. and uh, this tolerance uh, sorry uh, the maximum allow allowed routing. receipt allow no maximum allowed receipts that that was there yeah. so as per you if you allow <clears throat> if yeah, you allow this allow. because we already made him blind actually in ebus it allows maybe but, some extra setup is required here around i'm not very but sure. will it consider will it consider the receipt tolerance uh, will it ignore the uh, receipt tolerance it ignore the receipt tolerance now fine i am not very sure but if i write it let us now see whether any profile options is there on the manager receiving for the blind receiving is there any profile has been introduced or not i'm not very sure but it because it looks logical nana sir yeah, uh, is the way it works in ebus now fine here they might have added something extra also which i am not aware of it now when i was working in uh, what happens uh, in kuwait i had this issue but some uh, like in customer is not interested in this uh, blind receiving at all so that's why we never either i would raise the sr at the time itself so i was not i will now go to the what manage percentage point receiving percentage profile percentage we now see whether any profiling is controlling it or not so go to the manage receiving profile options anything is controlling here on time was we don't have any such thing profile is function of search you must see anything is there on so receive receive except uh, ex, expected transaction number yes uh, receive the transactional maximum back days is there aging period allow rate over right now we are specific allow uh, uh, include for what happens can from the now say what uh, ssp include to for confirm receipts the due order sign that is blind oh god rcp ssp required blind receiving i will not see whether this is required or not there is one thing i will not see it is no no right so ssp required blind receiving i will not make it as yes no fine maybe this may be the one which is causing it actually so i will not say ssp required blind receiving is the one fine i am enabling it fine or not i will not give a save and close I will not go there and then try to receive it. I will not give a cancel. I will not ignore it. So click on the button. You must see this is the one which is causing it. 
gold is placed in the near corner of the gold the receive expected shipments and then 506 is the one the us fine what is it 654 na what is the number 654506 654 what is the number here us <laughs> i forgot the fine six of them make a query number keep on searching 506 is the any any number now so keep on search number us ah what is the number you should start with 164 ah 164 ah, 164 five, 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 164 five, 604 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 I will not put 120 to 100 days from the end of the app. And then click on create as it. It should not throw any error at all. Ah, it's still showing you some. Maybe if you log and log in, it may work. I'm not very sure about it. Make an attempt on it. Otherwise, if you know about how to do it, please tell us. <clears throat> so this error is still coming now. It is not showing you the, what I was saying, the over zip tolerance for this line is now overridden. Overridden and then you are making it as a blind action. Uh, overriding is only for what I mean the result routing. Okay? No, make it as inventory and then see okay, what is the inventory. And then make a change to inventory and then try to deliver it to the inventory directly. Stores. So click on create result and now see whether it accepts it or not. This is also showing in the room. No idea. Maybe if you log out and log in, maybe it may work. There is a live access for you. If you know it, please post on the WhatsApp group. So that is not exactly working. Now. So this is all about what happens the receiving parameter. Now we go for the advanced receiving. So give advanced. I am not going to make a PO, which is going to be a two-way PO. So let us not make a two-way. So in many companies, what happens in our company, we don't give advanced at all. Fine. If it is a worst case, what happens? We will not make a two-way PO. What is the PO of you? Go there. Come on. I will not create a PO, which is going to be a two-way PO. Thank you, Mark. We will not make a PO. Fine. Go there. So click on create order. We are going to make a two with you. So we were in Ispat Industries, Bombay. We never give any advance at all. So purchase officer will not give a two with you. So click on create. So we are going to be. I will not go to the lines area. Then I will not give a plus one. It's what it's a K zero one zero one, and then give a ten. I will not go under confidence. But then here the price is going to be ten. I go to the schedule, <clears throat> and then here I will not go there. I will not give the dates. I go there. I will not go and give the dates. Let me edit. I am going to edit. So in the edit area, what I am going to do is what I will not go down. Fine. I will not make it as what two way PO. So there are three ways of fine two way, three way, and this thing. And then, if the receipt routing is going to be inspection, then four way also. If we make it as what inspection required, then two way, three way, four way, all the things will come. So, yeah, it is going to be a standard. So here, what happens? I am now making it as what two way. So two way view. That means what? If the PO is matched against the purchase order, if the invoice is going to be matched against the order, we can very well make a payment. Actually, you need not have to deliver anything at all, and no delivery is required. I keep on it. In order, so go there. Let us now approve it. So one six four five five zero seven is now going to be submitted for approval. So before we make a payment, what happens? We have to first of all ensure that the payable period is open. We have to ensure that the payable period is open. So for which what happens? I have to go and then log in in the, the financials section. So let me go there. Keep on it. I have to log in to the financials. One six four five zero seven is the one. And let me go there. Let us now log in into the financials section. I will now go to the tools. And then I go to the security console. So let us now log into the financials to open the PDF section. What are the users now find? FAs are basically financial users now find. FAs zero one. I want to use FAs zero one. This is a financial user actually. You know that. So let me reset the password. I click on reset passwords. So go back to my manual. I will now welcome what to be capital W. In it caps. So click on reset password. Now it is reset actually. So if a zero one dot student is the one, so go there. Click on done. So let me go to some other browser and then I will now log in. So go there. So 
to take care of it. Let me go to what the Mozilla browser and then log in and then open the period stuff. Because the period has to be open. I will have to open the period stuff. And then the financials has to be set properly. That is another thing. So the financials has to be set properly. So it is the FAS01 dot student. And then give it a comment. It is welcome one to one. <coughs> so like that. Remember, remember it also. And then we'll now go to the general accounting and then we'll now try to open the PDF. So we are now logging in with this now. If a zero one of student, and then we go there and then let us know what happens. Open the PDF section. <clears throat> Click on the home icon. I will now go to the general accounting. <clears throat> Hold the page. General accounting and then period close. General accounting period close the revocation where we have to open the periods. Fine. This is available only in the financials one. And click on the period close. General accounting period close. I have to open the GL first of all. Go to place. So here, what happens? We go on and see. Fine. The data access it, drop it down. I will not use the US ledger set, US primary ledger. So let us use the US primary ledger that is used by this now. Fine. US primary ledger is the one. Fine. Click on it. You can even see on the documentation. Fine. Click on it. We go on and have a look at the documentation. We are working on the US private ledger. We go to the Oracle SEM training. I will now go to the fourth one. And then you can open this one. Fine. Vision enterprise structure. You can now see that our this thing, fine ledger is US private ledger actually. So this has to be open right. So we use primary ledger at all. Of which the data access is already there. And there is no need for data access at all because in vision everything is inbuilt actually. So you can now see GL is open and then the payables also open. Otherwise, you have to click on it and then open the periods actually. Now GL and then the payables are open. So we can very well what happens is process this 507 PO now. The first requirement is what? The GL period must be open and then these are all the sub ledgers actually. We don't have any periods for inventory and PO remember. Inventory and PO do not have any periods at all. <clears throat> Only the financial modules and then the costing modules will be having a period actually. So we'll now go there. We'll now come back and then we'll now go to this place. <clears throat> so go there. Right. So in the FAS01, we'll now see we never log in whether the payables is there or not. We'll now see. We'll now go to the place. We'll now see whether the payables is there or not. Ah, what is this? Where is the payables? Is there any payables? So we'll now go to the home icon. Thank you. Thank you. So click on okay. But we are logged out and logged in now. Fine. That's why it's not funny. I click on the home icon. So the home icon will not see whether the payables is there or not. So go back to my not see whether the payables are included or not. The payables is there. I click on the payables. And then I will now go to the invoice. I click on the invoice. So for 164507, I am going to make a what happens invoice for this. The payables invoice. Let me create an invoice for this. It is for 100 quantities at $10. So click on that task list here on the right hand side and then click on create invoice. I'm going to get an invoice. I'm not going to get an invoice. Task list and then create invoice. So once when you create an invoice, <coughs> so we are now creating an invoice for that two way PO match actually. That means what? Without receiving it, we can very well make a payment to the supplier. So we will not put our PO number and then we will not search for it. So in the meantime, what happens? We will not go there. I will not right click and then duplicate. So we have to create one more one more purchase order for as a three way receipt. Now we are still working on now. So in the meantime, what happens? We will not go there. I will not create one more PO. So click on the home icon and go to one. I will not go to what PO and then let me duplicate this PO. I will not go that click on it. I will not what happens. Go to the manager orders and then search for it. Okay. No search for it. And then let us not duplicate it. What US 164507 is the one. Fine. Make a search for it. And then let us not duplicate it. And then make it as a three-way receipt. Click on it. Actions duplicate. I'm not duplicating it. I'm not duplicating it. I will not make a change. 
and uh, I will not go to the schedules. I'm talking about the schedules. Let me edit the schedule and then change it to what three-way result. What is it? Is it is a what is a result match and then there's a three-way actually. There is a three-way result match. So go there, click on OK, and then we'll now submit for it. So click on OK, and then we are going to submit this now. <clears throat> so it's one six four five zero eight is now submitted for approval actually. It's a three-way result match. That is for the next exercise. So. So in the meantime, what I mean, long go that you want. So the invoice not done. Long go that. Long put the identifying PO. US one six four five zero seven is the one. You wait for it. It will automatically show you. I know the one. You busy considering that. Use it. So the business unit is going to come. The supplier will be coming. Everything will be coming automatically once when the identifying PO is put over here. So the everything is coming. I will not put a number of what invoice number is what one thousand one. So the total amount is what. Hundred dollars into ten is one thousand plus taxes. Actually, I don't know how much is the tax. I am not just putting it. So I don't know the tax. I am not putting it. <clears throat> is that two way PO? So I am going to give a match now. I click on the match invoice. So go there. Click on it. I will not give a match. I click on match. So once when I go for a match, match invoice lines and then give a go now. Right? There is an arrow mark. You have to click on it. It will now say how you are going to buy match it. <clears throat> so click on it. I will not go there. Click on it. I'm not going to make a match. <clears throat> so in the meantime, whatever they go there, I'll not right click it and then uh, we have duplicated it and then we have to receive it also. I'll not go that one. They're not showing you this. I will not put a tick mark on it and then I'm going to make a match. So the hundred quantity fine go there. Everything is there. Order is hundred. Available for match is hundred now. Fine. Everything is available for you. So click on apply and then click on okay. Now. Fine. Click on apply and then click on okay. <clears throat> so it will not show you along with the taxes actually. So in US, what happens? We have a three levels of taxation basically. So it's not done. So it's not showing you what uh, something, something, something. All these things are coming. Yeah. So the total amount is what will now go down and see down. It is called one thousand only. So no taxes are basically applied upon this. Otherwise, what happens? No, only uh, after well, well date it will come, Nana. Maybe okay. Fine. You are safe now. Fine. Come on, save. Save well date it will come. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure about it. I am not that good in payables actually. I am not giving a save of this one thousand number. Now, fine. We will see whether the taxes is coming or not. Fine. This case. The in case taxes set up uh, then normally after validating. Uh, yeah, yeah, after normally, validating you will get. So it's not coming. I will not go to invoice. Actually, is not validated. I will not go that you want. I will not validate the invoice. You click on the validate invoice. I am going to validate the invoice. You will not see other time the taxes getting applied or not. <clears throat> So we are going to validate it, and then we will now see whether it gets validated or not. So the distribution for the line is now created. So it now says ninety-five dollars. So one thousand ninety-five is the one. So it needs revalidation. So let us now go there and then correct it. Now, upon validation, the tax is gone. So I will now correct the header value to what one thousand ninety-five. So one thousand ninety-five, I am correcting it, and then click on save, and then I will now revalidate it again. Go to the place. I am going to click on it. I will not revalidate it again. So it needs revalidation. So no, and they drop down action only. Uh, action so validate. 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 So I am going to validate. So by which what happens? It will be done. <clears throat> it gets validated, and then it is now ready for a payment. Actually, we can go ahead and then make a payment. So invoice is validated. Actually, now we will now go for the next order. No, fine. So in this place, what happens? I will now go on and make a receipt against this number. In this place, I will now go to the inventory and then let us now make a receipt. Go to the inventory and click on it. And then here, what happens? You go to the receipt. Receive expected shipments against hundred. The supplier has now supplied thirty only. The US one six four five zero eight. The five zero eight. What happens? Yes, now supplied only thirty actually. So click on receipt. It is a three-way receipt match. The quantity is thirty has been received. Thirty has been. So click on create receipt. So we are now going to create receipt. Thank you, consumer. And by which we are going to. So thirty is now received. Now the supplier is saying, I want a payment for fifty, because with this excess money I can manufacture the remaining seventy actually. Because I need money for this. It is only received. Only thirty is received. Now the payables clerk is saying, Okay, yeah, I will now do it. Thank you. So he want a money which is beyond thirty actually. Thank you. Give us seven close and come on a bit. Let us now create the next invoice one thousand two. It is now received only thirty quantities because it's a three-way receipt match. And then what happens? It will now say that you are trying to overbill it. 
the US 164 508 one. So if you give it everything will be coming for that. So the number is what? 1002. So it's a 30. He is now asking for 50 quantities. So 15 to 1 is what? 500 dollars for that. And then click on match. So click on match. So it is 500 plus taxes actually. I don't know the taxes, so I'm not putting it down. If you select it, it will not say against this. Whatever. Only 30 is available for payment actually. Out of 100, because 30 has only been received. So, but the supplier is asking for 50, and then playable score is also agreeing. Okay, we'll not give it. So, we'll not go there. So, this is going to result in an overbill now. It will not give you a caution that you are overbilling it actually. So, go back moment. Now, if you click on this area itself, what happens? You're not fine. Warning, completing this match will result in an overbill. It doesn't matter. Payables clerk has got full authority to what happens, overbill it actually. Right? Click on apply and then click on OK. He has overbilled it actually. Mm -hmm. So on that area, well. and then one more warning is also coming. Completing this match will result in an overbill. Shalega is saying. So give a save now. I will not what happens, validate it actually. So go to the invoice actions and then go to validate is not valid. Now it says what uh, uh, the amount is now 47.50 is the one. So 547.50. Then click on save. Now he is again going to validate. This time it will be through actually. So what are the invoice actions? And then click on validate. So it will get valid eventually. So it needs the validation action. So it is not saying, I will not go there, click on it. Click, see click there, the no? yeah, we'll not see what is the problem on this now. What the it needs revalidation. So the system hold, it does not create the hold actually. Click on the hold name. Now see what is the hold name. Quantity mismatch? Yeah, no, not quantity mismatch actually. Point. The total amount of invoice lines. Oh, on second line, 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 second line. Build quantity is exceeding exceeds the, receiving the, quantity. That is the one. Yeah. The, so now, how to release the hold? Anybody? You know it? Yeah, you can drop down. Uh, drop down there. Yeah. Here, what happens? Go to well. Uh, need. Uh, like needs manage holds. Uh, manage holds. Yeah, yeah. Where is the manage holds now? Uh, manage, no, yeah. manage holds, and then we will not try to leave it. Now. Manage holds. The system has created a role. So I will not say match override on that part. And then go there. Match over has matching hold is released. Now. Save and close. The concept of close. So in the match holds, we are not releasing it actually. Invoice action validation. Yeah. Validated. It, it is validated on. It is already validated actually. One of my students says that what happens, the payables clerk should never override at all. How to do it? He was asking me. I don't know how to do it. it so is, this uh, over billing, you do not know the, what happens. Uh, over billing should not be done by the payables club. That is what his company wants. His client wants it. But I don't know yes. how to do it actually. If anybody knows it, please uh, post a message on the or Telegram group now. Right? If you know about how to stop this uh, over billing actually. Yeah, in the, in, it should not be over billed at all. That's what they were saying. In the supplier site, we have to create the uh, invoice tolerance. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then if we, uh, the tolerance, tolerance, then what happens? It will be honoring it, they're saying. No, no. If it's uh, said the tolerance zero, uh, it will not accept. It will not accept any overbidding. No? Okay. Yes, yes. Good. So, we'll not, somebody make an experiment on it. So, this is on the three way match. The next topic is what? Pay on reserve. Now. Fine. The next topic is pay on reserve. I will not go to this place. Now. I will not right click on the duplicate. We are going to give a pay on reserve now. And as soon as you receive, you have to make a payment actually. This is called pay on reserve. Now. So, I will not go to the what? Payables now. And go to the procurement. So next topic is pay on reserve. I go to the procurement, I click on the procurement. And then here, what I do is, I will not go to the supplier. Let me go to the ABC consulting and then I will not enable him for pay on reserve actually. So some suppliers, let us say the market price is 100. He is now giving it at 60 to us. The only thing is what, as soon as you supply, you have to make a payment now. He will not even supply any invoice. So we ourselves has to make a self-billing actually. This activity is called self-billing. So we have to make a self-billing and then make a payment. So under the agreement, we are doing it. So we will now query the supplier. I will not go to the case. I will not go to the managed suppliers. And then I will now query for the I will now say it's the ABC consulting. And then query for it. 
So go down. I'm not putting the supply. So go to the click on edit. <coughs> So go to the button. And then here we are going to enable the pay on receipt actually. <clears throat> go to this place now. So here, what happens? You go to the what? I go to the sites now. I click on the sites. I go to the sites. So on the sites, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do it. I'm going to edit the site. So I'm going to edit it. I'm going to edit it. So go there. Click on it. I'm editing it. I go to the purchasing area. I click on the button. So go there. So I'm going to enable the pay on the supply. Remember, only certain suppliers who are supplying at a very good rate, we can enable the pay on the supply. We have to mutually discuss. So go there. I'm not going to go there. So how the invoice summary? Oh, yeah, tell me. Here you can go to the in, uh, invoicing tab, no, no? Yeah, one second. Invoice summary level is what is going to be what pack receipt now. So this is normally not done in the supply chain management. So we don't do on the receipt actually. We do on a packing slip actually. So I will now make it as what. Sometimes a pay side or receipt now. Click on the receipt. So invoice summary level is receipt. So summary level is normally on the supply chain. It will be on a packing slip actually. So here he is saying on the invoice tab region. We can even, what happens is stop your excess payment actually, is what he's saying. The invoice tab region, we can even give the over receipt tolerance to zero, that is what he's saying. Quantity tolerance, drop it down. Percentage of quantity based tolerance, UK based tolerance. Invoice tolerance limits based on percentage actually. But actually we have to set uh, in another area, quantity tolerance, then assign, the, assign uh, it here. Uh, maybe, okay fine. Do all those things, I'm not very sure about it. So now here, what happens is we are now making it as a pay on receipt. On every GRN, we are going to make a payment. And then some companies, when I was working in Steel Authority, they were using a pay site. No, fine. It is a common one because the government company, they don't do on a GRN basis, basically, on a goods receipt note basis. They do on a pay site itself. So for that. Now I'm now making on every GRN. Nana, sir, what is this packing slip here in this? I'm going to do it. Fine. In supply chain, we only use packing slip, actually. We don't use the what about these two things? Many companies will be using only packing slip. We're going to do it. So is it oh, is this is this a ASN or is this a? No, no let, it, let me come to the topic now. That is the next okay. topic. Okay. That is the next topic. Along with so pay on receipt is not GRN. Okay. This is supply chain management team. Many companies will no use only packing slips. Fine. Right? I'm not showing on a GRN. GRN is one. So click on save and close. The pay on receipt is enabled. Fine. Click on save and close. So on this one, ABC ABC US one is a site actually. Then it and so click on again save and close. Now I'm now going to make a new P1. So click on it's not done. Sometimes whatever the save and uh, close will be coming or submit will be coming. So accordingly, I do it now. So let us now go on and create a new purchase order. So click on it. I'm now going to make a new P1. So click on create order. I'm going to create a new order. So go there. So it's what the ABC consulting. <coughs> ABC consulting is the one. I don't know, click on it. So we have enabled the pay on zip that will not default onto the PO. The PO on zip is now getting defaulted. But for this specific PO, I don't want to make a pay. So you can even remove the tick mark. So it gets a default under the PO. If you want, you can even stop it actually. Go that one. I will not go to the lines and then let us know add it. So it's what is a K01, 01, and then give it a and then I'll go find quantities. And the price is 10. And then I go to the schedules. I will not give a schedule. And remember, when you receive it, even though you are not put away, it is eligible for a payment actually. Receipt, gate receipt is sufficient. Okay? The put away is not a mandatory one. No, no. So 100 quantities, and then the pay on receipt is enabled. So click on submit. Okay? 164509 is going to be submitted. Let us now receive some what are the 30 quantities. 25 quantities will not be So click on it. The document was submitted properly. So now, as soon as I receive 25 quantities, we can very well create automatically create what this one now. So let us now go to the receive expected shipments and then let us make a GR. So, so 509, I'm going to make a GR. I will now receive it. And this is what the US 164509 is the one. 
Yes, one six four five zero. And then click on search. Now, as soon as they receive twenty five commodities, we can very well push it into our AP system and then create an invoice. This is called self billing. We ourselves can create a billing. So it's not coming fine, select it, and then we will now go on to receive 25 count Select it, and then click on receive. Select it, we are going to receive it. So go there. So here, we are now enabled the blind receiving is not coming from there. Otherwise, it will come fine. I will now go for 25 count to receive. Now, the GRN number will be part of the invoice number. So click on it. But I mean, the GRN number will be part of the invoice number. Thank you, sir. So click on survey. <coughs> the GR number <coughs> will be the part of the model. <coughs> 52163. The one fine. This will be part of the invoice actually. So we are going to create an invoice on our own and then we are going to do a self-billing actually. And click on the model. You need not have to put away. It's not the, the item is ours actually. The moment it crosses the gate, it is ours. And then even before put away itself, it becomes eligible for a payment actually. I will not go on the right click and then duplicate. Let us now go and then run a concurrent now. A ESS job, I'm going to run. I will now click on the star icon. Go there. I will now go to what the monitor process and then let me run a ESS job. So click on the shedding new jobs and then I'm going to run. Shedding new jobs and then I'm going to run. It's called what? Send pay. Find your tab. Send pay. So we are going to send a pay. Send pay on the zip. It is a pay also. From the inventory system to payables, we are going to send it. Send the payment. Remember, the financials must be fully set up. If it is not set, what happens? It will not work at all. You have to set up the financials very properly. So the send pay will now send the receipt information to the payables, and then the system will be creating importing an invoice. Actually, the system will now import an invoice into the payables automatically. Send pay or is it the one? And as of now, we can only automate it by scheduling it. Actually, we can automate it only by scheduling. But there is no such immediate program. Where upon receipt, the invoice gets created in the AP file that, that is yet to come out. Whereas in EBIS, we have it now. In EBIS, as soon as you receive, the payables invoice will be getting created automatically, actually. But that part is still pending, actually. And they are to do it so that the development is still going on. So we only have to run this now, fine. Send the pay, we have to run it. So send the pay on the zip is the one point click on again. And then here I will not put the GRN number. Now. I will not paste the GRN number. I will give a tab on this one. Here. So transaction source is what? Evaluated receipt settlement. It is also known as the ERS invoice. Evaluated receipt settlement is the one. We can even go for advanced shipment and billing notice also. Fine. That will be covered in the supply portal actually. So commitment is zero. Aging period is zero. If you give two days, after two days only the invoice will be created. If it is zero, it will be immediate actually. If you leave it blank, we can even schedule this concurrent to run it in the advanced. We can very well schedule it. So click on submit and find by which what happens. This concurrent is not going to run. Now, what happens? You can now see this is going to spawn one more uh, what happens, concurrent called import order invoice. So send pay on zip is now going to spawn one more concurrent that is called import. Fine. The import payables invoice is not running. So once when that is completed, what happens? Very behind. So send pay on zip is completed. Now that is running now. It has spawned it. So once when that is completed, we can now see a report also becoming import payables invoice report also becoming. But many manufacturing companies do not use the GRN number point. Now you can see the GRN number, right? the 163, 521, will be the invoice numbering actually. Invoice, the report is now running. So if it is a report, we can very well publish it and then see this. Many manufacturing companies will be using what as a packing slip actually. So the supplier will be giving a packing slip that will be form part of your invoice. It's succeeded, no, no. Hmm? Yeah, it's succeeded. I will not click on it. I will not go on that. I will not go there. So click on republish the output. I will not republish it. I will not click on this option. Export to PDF. I am not exporting any PDF. Let me have a look at it. If you look at it, that is not showing here. So the invoice number is what? It is a ERS. This prefix also can be changed actually. We can change the prefix. And then this is a GR number. And then there is a running number. By which what happens? The total amount is come. But many companies will be using what? 
our packing slip number as a part of is a three part number actually and they will know use the packing slip number over here and that this, this is the only number i don't know how to set up this number actually this number also can be set in payables you know but i don't know you talk to financial they will tell you about how to set up this number now. and this this number also can be with a start number of thousand or something that you can very well set that so it is a three part process as far as invoice is concerned now we'll not go for a packing slip so the er is also i'm going to make it in my mind let us not change the er as prefix now find out account i will not go to this place now account so you expect it to be account i will not go and edit this stuff and click on it the supplier i'm going to edit it for what <clears throat> for a receipt now find out i will not go to this place go to the sites now find click on the sites and then i'm going to edit it select it and click on it and then i'm going to edit it so go now find go to the purchasing and go to the purchasing and then here i go down and click on the go so here it is not a good of receipt it will be a packing slip many manufacturing companies will be using a packing slip so the supplier will be giving a packing slip so for which the invoice will be created so they will be able to track find which packing slip is paid which is not paid actually which packing slip so it will be one and click on save and close and this is how the manufacturing industry will be using the packing slip number as a invoice so click on save and close so that is now that so now what i am going to do on the same invoice same thing i am going to go there i will not make one more receipt for 10 quantities 25 has already been received of this now so let us not make what about the 10 quantities receipt now so click on the receive expected shipments and then i will now query the same one now the us 164509 is a one time give attack and then click on search search it correct so it and then we will now receive 10 quantities 10 quantities i am receiving and then before which what happens we have a profile option here now fine I don't know whether right click and then duplicate now. Fine. We have a profile options. We can now set up the profile options. <clears throat> so go there, click on it. So click on set up and maintenance. <clears throat> In the receiving area, we have a profile now. Fine. Click on it. So click on search now. Fine. It's called manage receiving profiles now. So manage receiving profile is the one. Fine. Manage receiving profile options. And then there is one thing on the ER as option. So click on search. The ER is prefix section. So the aging period, you can set it up. Fine. Here now set up a zero. That will be defaulting over there when you are doing the same thing. Fine. If you set it up two, it will be defaulted over there. And then is the RCV ER is prefix. Now find out the point. I will not go there. I will not change it to Tata. So this will be coming as a prefix. I mean more prefix. So it is the RCV. Uh, is the ER 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 is prefix section. I am not saying it. Click on save and close. This is this is a similar functionality in Oracle actually. Exactly. Yes, it is a similar functionality of Ebus Business. Yeah, there's a PO ERS invoice yeah, 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 yeah. fix or profile it's, option is there. Yeah, yeah. PO ERS profile option there. So that profile will be setting it up. Now we go there and then we are going to make a receipt. So click on create receipt. It will not add up. Now while creating a receipt, we are going to give the packing slip. I will now say it is Nana underscore one two three. So every packing slip is basically monitored for whether it is paid or not, right? By giving the invoice. So this is for ten quantities. Now I click on submit. Now we will now run the same page. Now we'll go there. So the GRN number I will now find five two one six four is the one from there. So if you don't give the GRN number as a parameter, then it will be running for everything. Now I click on it. Now go to the place. I will now go to the monitor process. There is the monitor process. Many suppliers monitor process. And then let us now run the again. Schedule process number. Send pay on zero one. Thank you. Again, I'm going to get. So it is the one. The receipt number is what one sixty four now. Okay, fine. Click on it. Transaction source is ERS. And then click on submit. So once you submit, correct. Now the Nana one two three will now form part of the invoice. And then it will be beginning with the Tata actually. So many manufacturing industries will be tracking it based upon the packing slip only. They don't track on the GRN numbers. So every packing slip, whether it is paid or not, accordingly, what happens? So the import payables invoice is not running now. Right? So this is the report runs in. Import payables invoice report is running. Then we can very well publish it actually. 
there you can now see that the tata will be coming and then your nana one two three also will be coming actually you know that's the point and then publish it actually so click on publish click on it export to pdf open it up and see now what happens the tata is coming the packing slip is also coming but somewhere we can even set the start this is running number also we can get it so this is on what payable is also called pay on is it on packing slip actually clear any doubts next topic is what debit memo on rts on rts we can very well create a debit memo i'm not going to be reading i'm not going to make what you go to the manage suppliers and then here whatever you go there click on edit and go edit it so that's not it i will not go to the sites now click on sites <clears throat> and, then says, and then click on edit now so if a supply is bad we will now reduce this payment actually but some suppliers will shout on it not do that i will not say create debit memo on rts now this is called as they are not enabling it so we are going to what happens is debit some money directly but if you do it supplier will shout i will not come to your place and then rectify the problem why you are not debiting my payment actually fine that way you will not show fine so it is not advisable to do this on experienced supplier only if you are new supplier we can do it now for experienced supplier he will not shout on you the create debit memo is now enabled so click on it i will not go on and save and close now i am not going to make a return now click on it i am not going to make a return i will not make a return <clears throat> i will not go that too much i will not make a return on thank you for it no go that so i will not perform a return no thank you that so i will not perform a return no thank you no return this option i will not put my gr number over here no gr number is not put you can so click on search so once when you search for it the create debit memo will be coming automatically in this place so that will be coming automatically here fine this is not coming but for this one if you don't want to create a debit memo we can even remove it so i am now returning only one quantity back to the supplier with the debit memo created that means what our liability is going to come down now the supplier we will be paying less actually fine so sometimes what happens it will not be accepted by the supplier in which case what happens we have to remove it actually. even though we have enabled it at the supplier site level but we can override it during return actually fine removing it and click on submit now now what happens the system will be creating the debit memo immediately you need not have to run any send pay or no other ess job is required actually it will go and then click on submit in the system will be getting what about the debit memo immediately the return transaction is now created and that not we will now go to the payables invoice and have a look at it now go that not i will now go to the space of quantum i will now go to the payables invoice and have a look at it so click on it now go to the home icon i will now go to the payables now and go to the payables so click on payables and i got a shouting from two suppliers actually in my uh, lifetime actually i will now go to the invoices and then query for the invoices the system creates a debit memo immediately that will be having a negative value so go there i will now go to what manage invoices and then query for the supplier actually supplier name is what abc consulting and then give it a yes manage invoices and query now so supplier side is okay supplier side is us1 and us1 is the supplier side actually and abc us1 so click on search now it will not show all the invoices whatever i have been created so click on search and then all the invoices in the immediate past oh god so much is there and how to restrict it on a day actually today is date today is invoice number invoice amount if the date column is there it will be great actually invoice date okay i must say invoice date is today's date that click on search now and invoice is today's date no search for it you know see all the invoices which are created right actually so you can see 1001 on those we have manually created fine this is along with the, what about the gr this is the debit promo actually 5216 is the grn for which what about the G, debit promo has been created now what happens you can now see it is minus 10.95 the taxes are also reversed actually so once when the payables make a payment what happens they will now consolidate everything and then see what happens add normal invoices and then subtract the debit memo it is called debit memo actually and the debit memo and then also invoice this is for the ers with the gr number and then this is the ers with the tata prefix and then what happens the packing slip number actually so this completes your p2p push actually so nana one thing here 
the so for the debit memo so is it required that the po receipt has to be invoiced for that case only not necessary uh, invoice if you have been invoiced or not it doesn't matter even without invoicing the what happens the use using company may even what happens the using department may even return it actually. so in that case the debit memo will be first and then afterward the standard invoice will be next act so the debit memo will now go into the supplier's book of accounts supplier owes us what happens we owe only minus 10 dollars to supplier and then once when the standard is coming then 90 is now 100 is now paid so 100 minus 10 is 90 we have to net pay the net pay is 98 so a debit memo even can precede a standard invoice any other doubts for anybody else good then so we are now completed the receiving fully now fine with the what was your automatic payment also i will now stop this record and then i will now start the next record any doubts on the receiving now if you have understood receiving can you put a green tick mark otherwise you have to put a go slow icon go slow icon means what you are now you have to go through this records and then only what happens you can do it okay beautiful prabhu kanan ganesh fine chandra fine azim so many guys have understood it <coughs> excellent <coughs> i am really happy to see this one. others to please take a note of others now fine whomsoever has understood it fine that will be great actually i am now going to stop this record and then i will now start the next record i am not stopping it so receiving final is now complete